Guys looking deep down the left side, meant to the end of the end zone, touchdown! Welcome everybody to Be Varsity Nightly. I'm your host Trevor Horn. First installment of this new highlight segment that we're putting together. I will do this every Tuesday through Thursday through this entire school season this year. Hope you enjoy. It's August 20th, 2015 and we've got action already in Kern County High School sports. We had girls tennis, girls golf, but we start off with girls volleyball as B Varsity Central Section number three ranked Centennial hosting number seven Bakersfield Christian. It was a great one tonight. Let's go to the highlights. Big night for Lacey Capolo as she takes over the program that her mother was a legendary coach at at Centennial for over two decades. The great student section, a great crowd all together on hand for this one between the two top 10 central section ranked teams. Here in the first point of the match, Centennial goes up 1-0 on this kill by Jordan Murrow. Big knife from Murrow. Later in this set, Centennial went up 13-5 on this spike from Emily Hansen. BCHS, though, gets on the board. Gigi Wilkins here. Her spike, her kill gives, cuts the Jayhawks lead to 14-10 in the first, but Murrow has a nice touch here on the right side. And that'll finish it off, 25-19 win for Centennial for the first set 1-0 lead late in the second. Move over to Murrow, she continues her dominance, makes a 22-21 Centennial. Murrow had a match high 13 kills. Student section on their feet as Michaela Mon finished it off for Centennial, 2-0 lead after two with a 25-13 second set. We'll move late into the third, BCHL's did hold an 18-15 lead and then retook the lead 22-21 on this kill by Phoebe Graham. But Centennial up 2-0 and down, roared back. Here, sophomore Alexis McLeod with the kill. This will give Centennial a 24-22 lead. And then with the match in the wings, up 2-0 and a 24-22 lead. It's Merle on the serve. Big night for Centennial. And she finishes it off with an ace as Centennial would move on to win 3 0 and opens up the season with a great win over Bakersfield Christian. Let's listen in as Lacey Coppolo and a couple of her players talk about this win. Oh, it's a great feeling. That's a very good team that we just played. So it's a really good feeling to be able to come out here on our first night together and be able to do this. It was just, it was completely awesome. Our first game. Coming back with a brand new coach, we couldn't have started out better. I mean, to finish in three, it couldn't have been better. And Brooke, our middles did amazing. They stepped up so much. They helped me out so much in the back row. Our blocking was phenomenal tonight. Yeah, it was so awesome. I love my team this year. They're just doing so great. And I'm just happy that to play this year. And like, I don't know, it's awesome. I'm ready. Yeah, oh, it, it is. It's a great feeling, but you're right. There's so much history that goes into this, really, for me and my entire family. So to just be in here, first of all, and to be able to experience this with the girls, it's, it's very memorable. About as active as I've seen a team this early on, uh, Emily, Brooke, McLeod, your new player that, you know, transferred over. I mean, that's a very good game. Can you kind of just kind of go through kind of the emotions and kind of, you know, what set the tone tonight? Well, I think we felt a little bit of everything, honestly, but they have been so eager. And at practice, I mean, we just go so hard, and they, I'm so proud of what they put in and all the hours that they put in and what they do in those hours. So just to be able to, to put it on the court is so much fun to watch as a coach. A couple other scores to report in girls tennis. Independence beat Bakersfield High 6-3, to three, and then over at Buena Vista Golf Course near Taft, it was a central section T6, that's the top six teams in the central section. Clovis West, the defending Division I central section champs, won the team title with a team score of 416 points. But it was Liberty senior Macy Mills with the top individual, individual score of 75. And teammate Taitlin Alvarez finished with a 79. And a reminder, we've got more live coverage tomorrow right here at Bakersfield.com. Myself and Zach Ewing will be on the call as we will have the scrimmage 
between Centennial and Ridgeview as the two teams gear up for the prep football season. So that'll be live right here at 7 p.m. on Friday night. For B Varsity Nightly, I am your host, Trevor Horn. See you guys on Tuesday.